Jason Schiller and Beer. It's Blue Heaven. Statistically in the first half, the 49ers dominated, especially in the air. Eight to two in the first downs, but the yards passing 131 to only 17 for the Titans. Total yardage also lopsided. Each team turned it over once by way of the interception. Time of possession, a slight edge to the 49ers, but their passing game, certainly the difference in the game. Well, and Randy, most of those yards were in the first three drives that Long Beach State had the ball. So in the second quarter and towards the end of the first half, their offensive output wasn't even close to what they did early in the game. Some of the other games on our prime ticket scoreboard, Utah State and Fresno State teeing it up right about now in Fresno. Look at that Air Force Utah game, 56-49. D. Dallas running the wishbone. San Jose State wins 35-17 over UOP. New Mexico State and Las Vegas later. SC just gets by Washington, as does Notre Dame, stunning number one ranked Miami of Florida. Both Washington and Miami had chances in the final seconds to win. Yale a winner over Columbia. I hate to see Columbia lose. Nebraska, 105 points on that one, getting by Oklahoma State. And BYU, which will be featured in November on prime ticket against San Diego State, is a winner. And the 49ers ready to kick it off. <laughs> David Van Steenkiss kicking deep. And it's Earl Williams on the return. And he's tripped up at the 32-yard line. Now, I was just handed a very interesting fact sheet by Mel Franks of Cal State Fullerton. And I'm going to read it to you as you look at Spelt's numbers. Cal State Fullerton junior tailback Mike Pringle has been ruled ineligible by the NCAA Rule Interpretation Committee. And they forward that to the university on Thursday. I'll finish this after the first play. Mike Moore. And Moore is in there for Pringle. Fullerton is appealing for restoration of his eligibility. The issue revolves around Pringle's participation last season at Washington State, where he played in two games before suffering an injury and then withdrawing from school. So Cal State Fullerton, they told us that Pringle was sick. That obviously was uh, fooling the media. And the truth is now surfaced. Well, Mike Pringle, you've got to be a little sick if you, if you think that you've really got a chance to play and then they come back and rule that you're ineligible. And he was playing so well for the Titans. Dan Spelts. Mark Hill trapped the ball. That's ruled no good. So far, it's just been a tough game for Dan Spelts. He's not throwing the ball well. Well, this time, Dan Speltz has time to throw. He drops back. His offensive line does a great job of giving him a pocket. He can step up and throw. This one's just under throw, and you can see it, the one hop there. Dan Speltz will be looking at third down now. Only three completions for 17 yards in the first half. Third and eight, and look at the third down ratio. Only one of seven. Normally, you have at least 32 to 35% on your third down conversion rate. Spelts is pressured. That's ruled incomplete. Pepper Jenkins again, number eight, has been harassing Spelts all night, and he's the man that really disrupted the play. As a defense, if you have success with the blitz and no one picks it up, you keep running it. Pepper Johnson, no one there, or Pepper Jenkins, excuse me, no one there hits Spelts' hand as he throw, throws. But one thing you want to do as an offensive team is knock the blitz down right away, get a completion, and stop them from blitzing. Jim Sheroy has been busy tonight for the tight. Another big punt chasing Alexander back to the 12-yard line. Stacy Alexander. Some pretty good moves there. There is a flag down. That's a 53-yard punt. Alexander returns at eight yards. Jim Sheroy again over 50 yards with that kick. He's having a great night. Referee Robert Barrow says it's a clip against the return team, Long Beach State. A lot of times when you have a returner like Alexander, we'll listen to the call. We have clipping on the run back, half the distance, first down. A returner with moves like Alexander, a blocker, you're going in to block. The returner makes some, some moves on a player and puts that player in a different angle and you get the clips. Good numbers for Jeff Graham on that first half. 35-yard touchdown. 
to Derek Washington, and he was picked off the one time by the weak outside linebacker, number 28, Chris Wright. Ball at the nine-yard line after that infraction. Andre Sutherland in motion. Happy had Shelton wrapped up, and the Warriors got him for a loss. Number 62, the linebacker. Now, I want to pose a question to you, David. I know that the Titans have been impressive defensively, but offensively, they've really struggled. How much were they shaken up by Mike Pringle's absence tonight, the way it happened, the fact that he was ruled ineligible earlier this week? Well, I think it had hurt them a lot. I'm sure when they went into their offensive preparation that Mike Pringle was a big part of that, and then all of a sudden they had to pull Pringle and not let him play. Their team, Murphy, wants a big stand from his defense there, but just the disruption is enough to, to cause any team problems. Second and 13. And it's Sutherland, and he runs into Alex Stewart, the nose tackle, and that doesn't go very far. You see also on the run support the Roverback Kevin Henderson coming up. But 71, Stewart had a big hand in that defense tonight for the Titans. He's a transfer from USC. It can cause the team problems or it can motivate them. And, and knowing Gene Murphy, I'm sure it's going the route of the motivation. Andre Sutherland, he's been the leading ball carrier, the workhorse this year for the 49ers. Rebound and 10. And they stay on the ground to settle it. Now that's a conservative play call from Larry Reisbeck in the sideline of Long Beach State. They did not have field position, and they did not jeopardize turning it over. They really played conservatively. But Cal State Fullerton now, after this kick, should have very good field position there. With a, a, an experienced quarterback like Jeff Graham, I don't think I'd be so afraid to throw down in that, in that field position. They pressure Willie Lujan. Gets a very nice bounce. An effective punt from Willie Lujan. It's finally downed by Brian Wiss at the 44-yard line. 12 minutes, 9 seconds left, third quarter. It remains Long Beach State, 14 to 6. When will the wheels call? Blue. And evening Blue in heaven. Time. to sell a Volkswagen for people with more sense than money. We still do. Before you buy a car, test drive a Volkswagen Fox at your local Volkswagen dealer. It's a delightful evening in Long Beach. We're at Veterans Stadium with David Hum. I'm Randy Rosenblum. And the 49ers in the third quarter are leading 14-6. But the defense of Cal State Fullerton holds and now the Titans offense takes over in very good field position at their 44 yard line. The big question can they mount an aerial attack with Dan Speltz who's been off target tonight. Slot left formation. In the flat Palomero gets free. Well there's a passing attack to the 35 yard line. Rocky Palomero. His brother Tony Palomero plays for the LA Cobras in arena football. A well-designed play. This is a play that can be completed easily and gives Spelt some confidence. Palmer is such a good athlete and competitor, does a good job of breaking the tackle of Stacy Alexander, does a good job, and really the most effective pass that the Titans have thrown all night. And suddenly, Palomero on that offense down to the 35-yard line. A 21-yard pickup there. Tim Burns drives the left side. Yeah, the nose tackle of Mule Hawkins, number 92. Submarine underneath brings down Burns. Burns has six carries and 18 yards tonight. We've talked all about Long Beach State's offense, but with a score here, the Titans and a two-point conversion, they could be right in a deadlock. They're only down eight points. Well, I think the momentum's going the Titans' way in the second quarter. You can see that momentum shift a little bit when they stop Jeff Brand. Over the middle to Michael Moore. 
And then one pass into the flat to Rocky Palomera certainly has picked up the, the spirits, lifted the spirits of quarterback Dan Speltz. If you've got a quarterback that's not having a lot of success with the five and seven step drops, just let him drop three steps and throw the quick passes, get some completions and get some confidence. Here a good drive for Speltz. That's another first down on that pass to Moore. First and 10 at the 23 yard line of Long Beach State. The pitch to Michael Moore. Nowhere to go. Phil Morrison, the senior from Sunny Mead, California. A three-year starter for the beach. Second team all Big West last year. There he is, Philip Morrison. Would not allow Michael Moore to turn the corner. This is one Michael Moore, when you're back and you have speed, a lot of times you're so confident of that speed that you can always get outside. That was one that he might have been better off bringing it back up and just powering up for a couple yards. Phil Morrison. Spearheading that 49er defense tonight. Burns on the delay. Still on his feet. This is Tim Burns. Keith Jenkins, the left cornerback, may have saved the touchdown. There was a lot of room for Burns had he gotten by Jenkins. He's inside the 15 and he's a yard shy of the first down. That's a 13-yard pickup. Gene Murphy has to be feeling much better about things, thank you. The momentum is swung and his offense is driving. And now they're doing well. Gene wants to get on the headset and hear what they're calling. They're his friends suddenly. Third at a short one. The second back, Moore. Touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown dash for Michael Moore. His third TD of the year, and it's 14-12, and the offense will not bring the kicker out there. They got to go for two and try to tie the game. Well, th that's the kind of play I like to see on short yardage. The pitches and the sweeps, you've always got the chances of the breakdowns. When you've got a back like Tim Burns at fullback that can block like he can, and a back like Michael Moore with his ability to cut, that's a great play. Here, this is, they put the ball in the left hash here. They've got the, the right side of the field wide open where they put Rocky Palomero. So we'll see what Dan Speltz does here. Joining Palomero to the right is Mark Hill. They take too much time. A flag is down, and that'll back the Titans up five yards. Still have to go for the two, but this does not make it easy. For a, quarter, for a quarterback, if you look at the off, end zone, he can see the 25-second clock there, so Speltz has got to be more aware of where he is on the field and how much time's involved. This, again, makes it a little bit tougher for the two-point conversion. Larry Reisbig has seen visions of Boise State when he let a halftime lead get away. Becomes an eight-yard attempt for the two-point conversion after the delay of game. Put intended for Palomero to nearly ricochet to Mark Hill. Larry Reisbeck exhorting his defenders on, but the Titans are they're within a 14-12 game with Long Beach State. The king at the Carpet Kingdoms, Upland and across from the Puerto Hills Mall, Goop. Kings do that, you know. He's overstocked. What to do? Max becomes Max the Nut. Max says, slash the prices. Move the stock. Sell under cost. Even on top names like DuPont Stainmaster. Even choose from these. Carpet your entire home for $888. Instant credit. No payments until 1989. Free labor. Free pass. No sales tax. Extra $2 off per yard. And REMS. 60 to 75% off. They'll even drive the showroom coach right to your home. Kings don't like to goof. Max the Knife just wants to be Max, your lovable carpet king. Help Max kick the knife. Void where prohibited by law. Member CKDIC. The carpet king of Upland and across from the Twenty Hills Mall. A touchdown and a field two-point conversion has brought the Titans to within two. Let's look at the score. 
Third down, third down and short yardage. We'll watch Tim Burn up, lead the play up the middle. Michael Moore does a good job going right off the block. And there you can see his speed. He's going to be a tough kid to stop down here with his moves. Then a five yard delay of game penalty hurt him on their two point conversion try. And from the eight, the incompletion thrown by Dan Speltz. And it's kickoff time for the Titans as they trail by two points. And a long way to go. Still nine minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Stan Davis from his nine. Return to the right. And a lot of openings for him to move downfield. Across the 40-yard line goes Stan Davis. And perhaps that's the lift the 49ers have been looking for. A 42-yard return by Stan Davis. Every return we've seen Long Beach State do, they've, they've brought across the field. It's kind of like a sweep. So apparently what they've seen with the Titans is that they aren't disciplined in staying in their lanes. And here you can see the left side of that coverage team was nowhere to be found. Long Beach State starts from its 42-yard line. Leading 14-12. At one point, they led 14-0. Flag is down, and so is Jeff Graham. 96, Tommy Thompson down below, and up top, Alex Stewart, 71. The Titans strike. They go 56 yards and a little bit better than two and a half minutes. And Michael Moore, the final 13 yards for the TD. Twice they had the ball inside the 20 to start drives. A defense, offside, still one. Twice they had the ball inside the 20, but it could only get two field goals out of that. They're a 56-yard drive and has to help Dan Speltz. Instead of second and long, it'll be first and five for the 49ers after that offside infraction. So a reprieve for Jeff Graham. Out of Estancia High School in Costa Mesa. Looking for the screen to Brian Browning. To the 49-yard line of the Titans. He's a yard and a half shy of his first down. Screens are a good play to call against an aggressive defense like the Titans. When they've got A.J. Jenkins and Leggett that are so tough, a, so tough a pass rushers here. Good job of Graham by Graham setting up the screen. We'll see Browning does a good job, but they really only pick up three yards. So you've got to give the Titans credit for covering that play. Titans are a very good defensive unit. Second in the conference, allowing points. That second lunge may have given Brian Brown in the first down. Looked like he was going to get stopped for no gain. And Able to get that second effort and really lunge forward. Second down and two, but still a very conservative call by head coach Larry Ricebeck. You've got a quarterback like Graham with his ability to throw the ball. They spread their people out and really give them a lot of options. Then you run Brown and you get the first down. Brown in, and I believe that offense still trying to take some of the pressure, the heat off of Graham and establish that ground game. Coming in, it had really been all Andre Sutherland, but tonight they're getting some productivity from other sources, one being Brown. Also, Lafayette Shelton is uh, being productive. One of the four passes of the night for Jeff Graham, intended for Mark Say. See Jeff shaking his head, disappointed with that try. That was one, Jeff. Sometimes as a quarterback, you'll come back and you just rush your throw. Your technique is bad, and that time he really didn't step into his throw, and he knew it. You don't need a coach to tell you you're off target that much. You know full well. Greg Johnson, 84, inserted as a wide out. He's at the lower portion of your screen. Kevin Ryan, 82 in motion. On to the left. It's Brian Browning. And he's dragged down from behind. And holding on, Tommy Thompson, the strong outside linebacker, number 96. Showed pass, and they tried to cross up the Titans defense with the run, and uh, they didn't do that. The Titans and Tommy Thompson were waiting for it. Well, a lot of times, Long Beach State, they set their run up with the pass. They throw a lot, so the, the draws really work well for them. Usually the screens do, too, if you're against a team that plays zone and not man-to-man. -man. 
Larry Reisbeck's second year as the head coach, two years of assistant under Mike Shepard, is now at New Mexico. Graham on third down. One of Derek Washington. A flag is down. Good Je secondary coverage, but we may have a rough against the quarterback, Graham. I think Jeff Graham was past the line of scrimmage when he threw that ball. You're right. That is the call. So the play goes awry for Cal State Long Beach. Randy, when you're a quarterback that, that usually throws from the pocket, you really don't usually care where the line of scrimmage is. There he, he was out. He was running, trying to get outside, and just wasn't aware of, of where he was with the line of scrimmage. Well, should he have thrown the ball? Was that a bad decision? It looked like there was a lot of green in front of him. You know, that, that's a good comment. Got it. Illegal forward pass, five-yard penalty, and lost it down. Fourth down. He probably probably could have gotten the first down by running the ball. Now his quarterback coach, Randy Whitson, would like him to look for the run occasionally. You don't want your quarterback to run all too much, but if you have an opening like that, he probably should have taken it there. Lujan will punt it away. An excellent roll to the 10-yard line for Willie Lujan. That backs the Titans up. And Long Beach State now will have to come back on defense. It's 14 to 12 in favor of the 49ers. Fullerton has had good field position most of this game. This is really the worst field position that Dan Speltz and his offense has had to head tonight. From the eye formation, Michael Moore and the turn of the tandem. It is Michael Moore. Good, good effort. Right in Chuck Reap, number 99, knocked him off his pin. Also helped too from Pepper Jenkins, number eight. Moore gets six, though, and it'll be second down and four. Michael Moore is five foot eight, 175 pounds, but he sure runs a lot bigger and a lot stronger than that. In the workhorse, 15 carries, 51 yards. Fumble. Not a clean exchange, and Long Beach State has it. Good at net, 98 with the recovery. So good net, who had 10 tackles a week ago at Utah State, with a big fumble recovery here. Something so fundamental as the center quarterback snap. There, Speltz never had the ball. He's got his offside pulling. He has no chance of getting back to it. And good net's right there. And Long Beach State is right there at the Titan 16, clinging to a 14-12 advantage, a two-point lead. Andre Sutherland to the outside. Sutherland is on his way inside the 10 yard line. Run out by Mike Schaffel. The safety. A gain of 10 yards for Andre Sutherland. So Sutherland made a great move there on a play that was designed to go off tackle. The, the hole was plugged up. He just bounced out one more hole and made a great play. Six minutes, 19 seconds left. Third quarter. Rise Bakes 49ers leading by two. Second down and a very short one. Sutherland to the near side. Touchdown. There is a flag down. Preliminary indication, holding, which would wipe out the Sutherland score. Seventy-six, he took him right. You could hear seventy-six, Cornelius Hall. Oh. Holding, offense, still two. They're not supposed to give the number. Well, I know, but you could see that Jeff Graham went up and says, come on, give me a break. And then the official just told him what player, what offensive player hailed. 
Strong tackle, Cornelius Harold. Now he doesn't have to hold. Number 76 is 315 pounds. Biggest guy on the 49er roster. That takes a touchdown away from Larry Rice, big in that sideline. It's still second down. And 10. Call it 11. Brian Wiss. And that one is rolled a touchdown. Brian Wiss. So Wiss momentum carries him in. So despite the holding, 49ers come right back up top and Graham throws his second touchdown tonight. David Van Steen kiss now for the extra point. It's 20 to 12. He's accurate and it's a 21-12 lead for the Long Beach State 49ers. A fumble recovery turns into seven points and the beach leads. When the federal bureaucrats tried to make offshore oil rigs exempt from onshore clean air standards, Pete Wilson said no. When secretaries Watt and Hodel thought they could take more of our coastline for oil drilling, Pete Wilson stopped them. And without Pete Wilson, California's wild rivers, the Kern, the King, the Merced, the Tuolumne, and nearly two million acres of precious wilderness would be lost forever. Pete Wilson, making a difference for our children's California. Nothing captures the spirit of the Old West. Quite like the original Western Bacon Cheeseburger from Carl's Jr. Charbroiled with Carl's own recipe barbecue sauce. A sauce so smoky, so robust, so Western, you can almost hear the wind whistle and the coyotes howl. Can I buy another drink, partner? The original Western Bacon Cheeseburger, only at Carl's Jr. Long Beach State scores after a fumble recovery by Peel Goodnet. A touchdown pass to the tight end, Brian Wiss. And he beats Chris Wright, who intercepted Jeff Graham earlier in the first half and does a good job running a pattern against a pretty good linebacker. Brian Wiss, second touchdown catch of the year. He had one earlier against University of Pacific. David Van Steen kissed now to kick off for Long Beach State. So the Titans, who trail 14-0, only to cut it to 14-12, turn it over. And the 49ers quickly respond and put seven points on the board. Six minutes, nine seconds left, third quarter. Sean Dennis on the return. There's Dennis, a reserve free safety. Only two plays, 16 yards. They did it twice. One time, Sutherland's touchdown run was wiped out, so then Graham went back up top after the holding penalty and found his tight end, Brian Wisp, for the score. Only 16 seconds after the turnover. Dan Speltz. Got to bring his team from behind again. From the 31-yard line, over the middle, intended for Mike Moore. And a ferocious hit by Keith Washington. Now, unofficially, we already have Washington for 10 tackles. That doesn't go as a tackle. That's a nice breakup, though. Well, if you're going to dink him to death, you still want to protect your receivers. That time, I don't think Speltz even saw uh, Washington there. That's giving up your body if you're Keith Washington. Sophomore out of L.A. Bourbon Day High School. He has two interceptions this year, and he's a ferocious player. Second and ten on the delay. Robinson across the 40, and he's a load. The big fullback, William Robinson, a senior from Miami, Florida. How about Miami losing today? The University of Miami at Notre Dame in South Bend, 31-30. Hurricane scored in the final minute. Had a two-point conversion. And lost the game. Here's the handoff. 
Watch William Robinson. He's not going to let this ball go. You can see he's not going to take a chance of fumbling, keeping both hands on the ball. Lou Holtz, he said that mystique of Notre Dame. You've got to give him credit. We're down at three for the Titans. Good out of the reach of Mark Hill. Good secondary coverage, too, from Cale Evans. Fourth down and three, and the Titans are going to have to relinquish the football with 5.23 left in the third, trailing by 21-12. And there's Jim Sheroy, who's been very busy. This will be his seventh punt of the night. You can see Dan Speltz rush that throw a little bit. He's been a weapon, though, better than 45 yards per effort. Alexander, the fair catch at the 21-yard line. Larry Reisbitt, fourth year at the helm as a coach here at Long Beach State, but you can see it started at Canyon High School in Saugus. They've always had great tradition there, and then Hart High right down the block, then Sandy High School, and as we move on, had some great years at Pasadena City College, the assistant to Mike Shepard in 84 and 85, and 86, uh, then 87, the head coach, and then again here, 88. Feels his team's ready to break out and win some games so far tonight. They're ahead. <laughs> Brian Browning again trying the middle of the line. And they say that Larry Rice, big uh, David, is a, a conservative guy. And you get the feeling at times he'd rather be a little bit conservative rather than throw, keep it on the ground, and establish that ground game. Well, a team always really does reflect the personality of its coach. And, and they say Larry is a little conservative when he was running back coach under Mike Shepard, an administrator. And it shows in his team. A flag was thrown on that last play. Illegal procedure, offense, five yards, still one. That'll bring up a first and 15 from the 15-yard line. Now, Gene Murphy, on the other hand, his squirrel derby that he calls it, and if you ever hear uh, the Murph, as they call him, as an after-dinner speaker, he's a pretty funny guy. Although right now, he's not in much of a laughing mood with his team down by nine. And a loss here would be devastating for the Titans. The second conference loss would take him out of the picture for the Cowboys. Graham throwing downfield. Mark Say. See if they rule it a catch. I don't know if they call that a completion or not. I don't think so. It's ruled incomplete. Let's look at it again. They run the motion, then the bootleg left. They'll have Graham roll out. Say does a great job of letting uh, his receiver in front of him clear and find that open spot. We'll see if he has possession here. Doesn't look like it. The good. safety, Mike Schaffel, number 41. That's a pretty good hit. Major league hit there. Schaffel was honorable mention all Big West last year. They stuck up that play. Sunday, prime ticket delivers a college football doubleheader. First, San Diego State hosts Hawaii. Then Washington visits number three ranked USC at a big Pac-10 meeting. The action begins at 5 o'clock on prime ticket, the best in collegiate sports. A big third down for the 49ers. Approaching four minutes left in the third quarter. Leading the Titans by 21-12. Graham under the gun again, and he throws it away. Although he had Lafayette Shelton, his fullback in the area, so he won't get ticketed. But that Titan defense holds, and it's fourth down now for Long Beach State. But a good play by Graham not to take the sack, not try to force the ball. Or really, if he took the sack and put his punt, uh, punt team in even worse field position than they are right now. The Titans will have good field position after this game. Willie Lujan on to punt it away out of harm's way. 39-yard average. Nine men on that defensive front. Good punt by Willie Lujan. Michael Moore. Had to wait a long time before that one came down. And he can't turn that corner. Hey, 
head coach Gene Murphy. Ninth year at Cal State Fortin is the head man. His resume started at North St. Paul, North Dakota University, both an assistant and head coach. Then in 1980, he took over the reins at Cal State Fullerton. Short and sweet in terms of number of locations, and he's had uh, a great deal to do about producing a very good football team year in and year out at Cal State Fullerton. Both these schools don't play a lot of home games because of the size of their stadium. Veteran Stadium, where we are tonight, is under renovation. They're going to put in about $3 million and provide the fans with uh, a nicer stadium game in and game out. But still, they won't draw the big teams because they can't bring in with the big guarantees. And the same for Cal State Fullerton. So most of the game's on the road for the Titans. And they've had pretty good success considering they've been playing most of the time away from home. Stokes. Ziegenhagen has him. A flag is down. You can see number 44, Mark Ziegenhagen, a very exuberant young man. But Randy, that goes back to early in the game. If you stop a team and you're successful, we'll listen to the call. If you're successful against a team that blitzes you early in the game and you complete a pass or break a big run, just once or twice, that'll stop that team from blitzing. The Titans really have not effectively picked up the blitz once tonight. Got a hold on the offense, refused, third down. For Mark Ziegenhagen, his second sack of the game. Third down and long for Dan Stoltz. Third and 17. Michael Moore incomplete. RJ Kors back on coverage. And Stoltz threw that one into a crowd. He did, and a lot of times when you're throwing the ball over the middle and you've got a player like RJ Kors back there, you're risking life and limb with your receiver, but really not a bad throw. It was down so the receiver could protect himself. Michael just couldn't hold on to it. Jim Sheroy is getting a workout for the Titans. A good kick. Alexander fumbled it at the 15-yard line. The 49ers feel they got it back, but we're going to have to wait for the indication. Todd Prukop, number 47 of Cal State Fullerton, feels he's got it, and he's right. There's your recovery. The junior from La Habra. Good job by Prukop. Stacy Alexander, you can see he looks down to see where the coverage is, looks back up, and looks down again. You're, you're trying to see. He doesn't know whether to fair catch the ball or not, and then kind of falls away from it. The ball bounces right to Krukop. Does a good job of covering, but there, Alexander, you can tell by the coverage, didn't know whether he should fair catch or not. Well, from the 15-yard line, Michael Moore cannot go very far as Lemuel Hawkins, the nose tackle, knocked him off his pins. Remember, the Titans were down here twice in the first half and came away with two field goals. They need a touchdown here as we look at Prukop. Yeah, that recovery. Yeah. Titans desperately need a score, only by nine points. Two minutes, 20 seconds left, third quarter. Trying to keep their chances alive in the Big West Conference. They came in at two and one. Stokes. Pepper Jenkins again. You know, the 49er coaching staff expected more from Pepper Jenkins. Well, whatever more means, they've gotten it tonight. Well, when you've got a player as aggressive as Pepper Jenkins, you can try to run the play away from him, hoping he reacts, but there just does a great job of watching Spelts and not being fooled by the play action. Pepper Jenkins, a sophomore, another one from Bourbon Bay High School, he's a high school teammate of Keith Washington. Heralded player, but he's had some injury problems, but not tonight. The only injuries he's accumulated have been the injured egos of the Titans offensive line because he's broken right through. On third and long. 
they rule that the knee was down for Michael Moore. And that will set up a placement for Stan Lambert. Now three, of course, is very big. That can get him to within six. Well, watch this. It's a throw underneath to Michael Moore and just hope he can make a big play and get down inside the five. But good defense. That, that play that was really not designed to get the touchdown just to get some positive yardage and to, to get uh, Lambert in a field goal position. Lambert's hit two already tonight. This one's from 35 yards. Certainly has the leg and the accuracy. So with 49 seconds left in the third quarter, that carves the 49er lead to 21-15. So it's only a six-point game right now. But again, the Titans were inside the 20-yard line for the third time that they had to come away with a field goal and didn't get the six points. For as much as their offense is sputtered, they're only down by six points, and I think Gene Murphy's got to feel pretty good about that. It's been an uphill struggle all evening long for Cal State Fullerton. They were in an early hole, and they're trying to climb out of it. Coming up next, a Pac-10 battle between the second-ranked UCLA Bruins and the California Golden Bears in the second half of our college football doubleheader. Prime ticket, sports television at its very best. 21-15, we have a good one here. As Stan Lambert is set to kick off to Mark Say and Stan Davis. Mark Say fields it at the goal line. 25, a fine return by Mark Say. He's splendid on those returns. He's got great speed, and there he gave the appearance he was going to cut back to the middle of the field, let the wedge split, and did a good job of getting up field and getting out, out of the side of the 30-yard line. So the 49ers will start from their 33-yard line. They have number 33, Jim Bittner, in that backfield now. Jeff Graham has thrown two touchdowns in this game, one to the man in motion, Brian West. That's a first down throw to Derek Washington. Jeff Graham throws a strike here. He rolls to his left. Makes the defense shift over there as he looks to his left. Washington just finds that little hole to the backside. Good throw by Graham. That's a 12 yard hookup to that man, Derek Washington, who earlier had a 35 yard touchdown reception. First down at the Prospector's 47 yard line. For Kelly Ryan, no good. It's incomplete. Trap the ball. Although you couldn't convince Kelly of that. He thought he had the reception. You can see he's barking on the play. He's a transfer from Saddleback Junior College in Santa Ana, California. That's a dangerous throw when you're on, playing those college hash marks and you're on the right and try to throw a ball that far and it's an out. James Young almost had a chance to pick that off. If he could have, he could have scored. Larry Risby, 47 years of age. Trying to establish a program that nearly went under a couple years ago. They had to come up with some funds to save it. They've come up with the financial resources, and now he wants to put a winner on the field. The screen to Browning, the roverback Kevin Henderson had diagnosed that play and was licking his chops waiting for Browning. When you run those screens and draws so much, the, the defensive people start sitting in and waiting and recognizing it a little more every time. And on that play, we will conclude the third quarter as Brian Browning tries to get the cobwebs out after that tremendous hit by Kevin Henderson. We have a good one. Long Beach State leads Cal State Fullerton 21 to 15. This is no place to be on your own.
without a guide, you can get lost real fast. It's kind of like taking care of money matters nowadays. You need a partner you can trust to show the way. Like Great Western, they can handle all your banking needs, from home mortgages and refinancing to checking and CDs, even investment services. You see, the Great Western family has over 100 years' experience and more than $30 billion in assets, so you can feel real safe. Need a strong financial partner? Let Great Western show you the way. We start the fourth quarter with Long Beach State leading Cal State Fullerton 21 to 15. And it'll be a third down for the 49ers as we start play. In a game that Long Beach State has led from the outside. Jeff Graham has thrown two touchdown passes. One to Derek Washington, his split end, and another one to his tight end, Brian Wiss. Threw three touchdowns last week at Utah State in a 31-24 setback. He has a chance to break most of Doug Gaynor's passing records here at Long Beach State. And I had a chance to meet Doug and do a couple games with him. And I thought he was a tremendous talent. Well, the Pro Scouts like Jeff Graham. He's shown us that he has mobility. And he also is very tall at 6'4", has some weight, too, at 200 pounds. So he has all the tools. And he's had another good game. Well, and the way quarterbacks in the NFL are going down, they want their quarterbacks bigger. And Graham is 6'4", and he could probably put some weight on that 200-pound frame when you, you see the pounding some of these NFL quarterbacks are taking. The bigger quarterbacks are going to have a better chance of surviving now. Even though it is hard enough to survive in the NFL as it is. Well, they like the size, obviously, for a couple reasons, to be able to see over the defense at 6'4". And you're right, you got to bulk up nowadays to take that kind of pounding with those terrific athletes in the NFL. Well, Gene Murphy, a little bit of a delay, and I think we might have a problem with the scoreboard. And also, some problems with the chains. They did not line, we are told now that they did not line the chains up properly on the far side one. Everybody was looking for the clock. Whenever there's a delay like that, you almost believe there's a malfunction, but everything seems operative up there. So it's obviously the sideline problems, and that hopefully will be corrected shortly. We have a full 15 minutes left. We are beginning the fourth quarter. And now Robert Barrow is not satisfied. Wanted to go over to the sideline and check out the proceeding. We're ready to play now. On third and 13. Jenkins chasing Graham. And he throws it away. Well, Jeff Graham knew that A.J., the senior from North Carolina, who has 4740 speed, was chasing and looming very, very close to him. Jenkins is a great athlete. Also, Alex Stewart there in front of him. He feels he's running out of space, but it's number 44, Jamal Jones, is the one that finally knocks him out of down, good out of bounds, good pressure by Cal State Fullerton. Now Willie Lujan will punt it away. With 14 minutes and 54 seconds left in the game. Michael Moore will watch this one hit about the 27 and go out of bounds at the 25. Cal State Fullerton, is, they've had their chances to put this game away, but they keep letting the Titans just hang on and, and hang on. Cal State Fullerton is only down by six, so if Spelts can get a good drive going, they've really got a chance to get back in this game. Statistically, after three quarters, the Titans' rushing game starting to show some numbers, but that passing game, only 54 yards, but that's better than what they had 17 in the entire first half. But that's still a, a, a big number that sticks out, the inefficiency of their passing game here in the first three quarters. 
Donnie Bill in motion, number one. And Michael Moore runs into P.O. Goodnet, number 98. There he is. This Long Beach State defense has to feel pretty good about themselves. They've, they've given up a lot of points and a lot of yards um, the first half of this season, and they've come back and played well tonight. Bill Goodenow had 10 stops last week out of Hawaii. Second down and long for the back. And again, they keep it on the ground. And it's the big fullback, Tim Burns, finally being hauled down by Pepper Jenkins, number eight. But that should be good enough for a first down, and it is. The Titans give you a lot of different looks with three wide outs. There they went with four wide receivers, Byrne the only uh, running back. They split people out. That time Cal State Fullerton didn't blitz, but still Pepper Jenkins back there. Twin receivers to the left side. Tim Burns, the only back now. Behind Dan Spice. So four receivers split. And they're going to the middle of the line, and again it's Tim Burns. They try to run a similar play again with the four wide outs, hope that they spread the linebackers out and that they can run against a Cal State, I mean a Long Beach State team, defensive team that's not that big. Their defensive line, they only have one player that weighs over 255 pounds. Now you have the view that Gene Murphy do. 21-15 in favor of Long Beach State. 13 minutes, 15 seconds left. Slot up formation. Michael Moore in that slot. On the delay, it's Burns, and he can't wiggle free. 99, Chuck Reap, the right end, made the hit. They're definitely featuring Tim Burns in this as we look at Gene Murphy. They attempted to give Speltz the short drops and the quick passes, but we really haven't seen Speltz throw the last two series. Dan Speltz. The transfer from El Camino Junior College in Torrance, not all that far away from Veteran Stadium. Third down and seven, only one of nine on the conversion ratio. Spelt's throwing and he throws it incomplete. He wanted Tim Burns his fullback. And again, Dan Spelt's on that Titan offense. No passing game. Well, Tim Burns on this series, but Dan Spelt's as a quarterback, when you keep having problems and, you're, and you can't really get anything going in any continuity, I think bad things just keep, seem to keep yeah, happening yeah. to you. And again, Jim Sheroy on the field for his ninth pump. But what an average, 47 yards a try. Been a little bit shorter than a fair catch call for at the 30-yard line. 12 minutes, 22 seconds left in the game. The 49ers leading 21 to 15. Welcome to the grand opening of Southwestern Bedroom Center. Hi folks, I'm Greg, owner of Southwestern Bedrooms. We filled our new 8,000 square foot showroom with the latest in sleep technology. We are your complete sleep center and carry a complete line of sleep products, including waveless water beds and both the Simmons Beautyrest inner spring and flotation beds. We also feature a complete line of adjusted beds, hide beds, futons, and air beds, along with bedding and a selection of new colors and styles that I know you'll like. We also have all the quality furniture you need to make your bedroom complete. I invite you to come down and browse through our inventory of quality bedroom furnishings. Delivery and installation and convenient financing is available. We're more than just a bed store, folks. We're a complete sleep center. Come visit us in the new Chino Town Square off the 60 Freeway and Central Avenue between Mervyn's and Pace. Let us show you how to say goodnight to your day. Long Beach State, 21. Cal State, Fullerton, 15. 12 minutes, 22 seconds. Playing time remaining from the Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, California. Gene Murphy's team is 2-1 of the Big West. Still has aspirations to get to the Cow Bowl and play the Mid-American Conference champion, but they need to rally. Graham on first down, pressure. And he finds Lafayette Shelton as fullback in a safety valve mode. But there's another flag down. I don't 
think that cheering is for the holding call. I think it's for the World Series. Gibson hit a home run, we are told, that won game one. Oh, on the offense, 10 yards, still first down. Still first down here, but they're going to have to settle this crowd down. The 49ers have a first and 20. And the 49er team must be thinking, I've never seen a reaction like that to a holding penalty. And now a timeout from Jeff Graham, who's still Jeff, shaking up, not understanding what's going on. Jeff's not used to this kind of crowd noise. Usually you're supposed to raise your hands or step away from the center. This is probably as much noise as they've had here in a long time. Well, they deserve some noise. They're leading on this homecoming night, 21-15. College Football 88 is brought to you by Volkswagen, who invite you to see the Volkswagen Fox today at your neighborhood Volkswagen dealer. And by the Bats Blue, Canada's number one selling beer, it's Blue Heaven. Jeff Graham and the 49er offense on the field leading 21 to 15 with exactly 12 minutes left of the game. And Jeff getting instructions from the sideline. He's been around for a long time, a three-year starter, moving up the charts in just about all the statistical areas. He'll pass the likes of Todd Dillon and Doug Gator. And he's rewriting the 49er record books, and that's really a tribute to him when you think his team around him has not been all that strong up front, although he's had good skill position athletes on the flanks to throw to. Plus, he's changed the system when Mike Shepard left and, and Larry uh, Reesberg came in. Reesberg came in. It's a different system a little bit. 21-15. The deep pitch to Lafayette Shelton. And he's taken down by Jerry Leggett, 91. A linebacker who plays to attack. Remember, he had 18 tackles last week against Fresno State. Against Nevada Las Vegas earlier this year, he had a big game, an interception, and he was the Big West player of the week defensively. Jerry has that tough look about him there. He did a good job of anticipating the cutback by Shelton and just put a good hit on him. Tonight's attendance, 7,582 for homecoming. That's a good crowd for the 49ers. And the Long Beach State team has responded. Play action pass. Gets away from Alex Stewart. That incomplete. It was intended for Lafayette Shelton. Let's take another look at it. Watch 71, Alex Stewart. Graham does a good job. The pro scouts like to see this in a young quarterback, a kid that's not afraid of the rush, but has the good feet that can just move and buy himself some time. Eleven minutes and eight seconds left for the Long Beach State 49ers trying to hold on and get their first victory of the year and break that ugly nine-game losing streak. It's third and 19. Graham scrambling again. Alex, you look like a dog. It's a nice effort, but he's well short of the first down stick. Tommy Thompson. Finally dragged him down. What a night Alex Stewart's had. Watch Alex Stewart. You talk about a defensive player. Don't ever stop. This play rolls to the left. Stewart's on the left of your screen. He's just standing there. Then he's got to go back and chase Graham again. That's why it's so tough for these big defensive linemen. They have to keep reacting and then try to run these big guys down. Lujan punting on fourth down. It's a wonderful roll if you're a 49er fan. Inside the 10-yard line, it's down at the 9. Michael Moore saying, perhaps I should have fielded it in the air. Yeah, that was a mistake, and Michael knows that. So Gene does Murphy, Gene. Yep, he knows, he knows Michael made a mistake there, too. Gene knows his offense it doesn't really have the capability to drive 90 yards consistently. They haven't shown it. There's 10-19 to go in the fourth quarter. 
Dan Speltz is going to start throwing the ball, he's going to have to do it on the series. That's the bad news. The good news is, David, they don't have to do it consistently. They only need to do it once. They're down six. Titans still have all three of their timeouts left. 49ers have exhausted one of their. Spelt with a good play action fake. And he's going to run. Excellent effort from quarterback Dan Spelt. Mauricio Gutierrez chased him out of bounds. And Larry's thinking, can I get my first win of the year tonight? That scramble good enough for the first down for Dan Speltz. And it gets Speltz out of full, uh, poor field position. They can do a lot more on offense now. Ball just outside the 20 yard line, and it's first and 10. Flags are down. It appeared that Rocky Palomero may have moved early from his wide receiver position and started upfield. Rocky, a veteran player, that, that's a big mental mistake right there. As a wide receiver, you're not really listening to the count. A lot of times you can't Illegal hear Illegal procedure, it. offense, still one. So what you're trying to do is just watch the ball and move on movement of the ball. And with a lack of a passing game, Gene Murphy knows that first and 15 is not an easy thing for them to overcome. Slot right formation and Bill's in the slot. Wanted Palomera. Coverage from Stacy Alexander. Dan Speltz continues to struggle. You can see Dan Speltz hang his head a little bit there. When you throw a ball like that, a lot of times it's the mechanics. You rush yourself and you really a quarterback's motion is the same as a baseball pitcher's where you have to step into your throw to your target. He really didn't do it there. He should know Palomero very well. They both originally enrolled at UCLA and in fact they were roommates. Well, right now they haven't hooked up at all. Six of 20 for only 54 yards. And the one interception. Morrison has them from behind. Philip Morrison. Under 10 minutes left, and Speltz unable to get this one off. Well, Speltz has time here initially. You see him pump fake right there, but Morrison, a good job on the pursuit and not quitting. Good pass rushing, good defense overall tonight for the 49ers. For Philip Morrison, he has three sacks in the game. The senior from Sunny Me. Third and one. 49ers showing the blitz, and here they come. Complete to Tony Dill, shy of the first down, but that time Spelt's at least did a good read to find his wide receiver. At least, and he had time. They picked it up well enough for him to get the ball downfield, but Cal State Long Beach has done a great job with the blitz package they've put in for this game. It's fourth down. And Jim Sheroy is on again. This is his 10th punt of the game. Drives Stacy Alexander back to his 25. A 10 yard return to the 35 for Stacy Alexander. Eight minutes, 37 seconds left. Long Beach State still clinging to a 21 15 lead. From the people who taught you to expect a lot of car for the money, well, here comes another lesson. Before you buy a car, test drive a Fox at your local Volkswagen dealer.
when the federal bureaucrats tried to make offshore oil rigs exempt from onshore clean air standards, Pete Wilson said no. When Secretaries Watt and Hodel thought they could take more of our coastline for oil drilling, Pete Wilson stopped them. And without Pete Wilson, California's wild rivers, the Kern, the King, the Merced, the Tuolumne, and nearly two million acres of precious wilderness would be lost forever. Pete Wilson, making a difference for our children's California. Eight minutes and 37 seconds left from Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, California. And you're looking at Jeff Graham trying to engineer a mild upset of the Big West Conference. Big rivalry game for the 49ers and the Titans. Wide open is Mark Say at the 40-yard line. And Mark Say able to hook up with his quarterback, Jeff Graham. Watch Mark Say, and again here, you could, you could have seen Jeff Graham just relax. This is pitch and catch. Graham, or Shea on the quick out. Graham, perfect throw. Now, did the cornerback James Young, number four, you see him coming to your picture now, just give him too much of a pad there? Well, and that might have been an audible, too, by, by Graham. That's a first down. The ball out to the 46-yard line. It's first and 10. On the ground. And Brian Browning runs into the young man that was just given a pad, James Young. And James wanted to make up for not getting to the receiver quick enough the last time, so he went after the running back on this occasion. Well, James yelling at his linebackers, he doesn't want to come up and have to make this hit very often. Watch Brian Browning and watch the hit that James, James Young, I'm not so sure he doesn't get the worst of this. Brown, you can see the, the knee there hit, hit Young in the head. Call it the flash of the Titans. The flash of the Titans. Brian throwing over the middle. That's dangerous. Incomplete. Jerry Leggett thought he should have had the interception. Jerry's a good-looking ball player. Well, originally, he was in Starksville at Mississippi State. Transferred to Cal State Ford. This is one I know Graham did not want to let go of. Sometimes as a quarterback, the minute you throw it, you know that you shouldn't have, and Leggett was right in the, in the, the lane there for uh, Brian West. Now, Brian Wiss now leaves the game after Leggett nearly picked it off. And a third wide receiver has come in, Greg Johnson, and now the 49ers take their second timeout of this half, leaving but one. And with 7.46 left in this football game, that may come back to haunt them if the Titans ever capture the lead. There's the Long Beach State 49ers, just one timeout remaining. But there, there, that's one thing that Long Beach State has had confusion in the first part of this season with timeouts too many and too few play, uh, players on the field at one time. Coming up next, the Pac-10 battle between the second-ranked UCLA Bruins and the California Golden Bears in the second half of our college football doubleheader. Prime ticket, sports television at its very best. It'll be third down now for the 49ers, and they've exhausted two of their three timeouts. Seven minutes, 46 seconds left here at Veterans Stadium. Homecoming night for the 49ers, and they're trying to make it prosperous. But the Titans, there's no quit in this Titan football team. They were down 14-0. They cut it to 14-6, then to 14-12. They turned it over. Long Beach State in the third quarter. On a touchdown pass from Graham to his tight end, Brian West made it 21-12. But now a third field goal from Stan Lambert has made it 21-15, and that's where Gene Murphy and the Titans stand looking down the throws of a six-point deficit. It's third down and ten, and remember the Titans are only down by six. A big play on the defense, and they're, they're still not out of this game. Long time to play in. Long Beach 30% on that conversion table. For Derek Washington, it's ruled a catch. And that's good enough for the first down. And you, you talk about the big plays, the third down conversions. Washington knew just how much he needed to get the first down, and he got it. Well, this is a good throw, but it's a great catch by Derek Washington. We'll see how close he is here. You see he has to stretch out 
He just does a great job. He gets both feet down when he really only needs one. That would have been good in the NFL. First down at the 39-yard line of the tank. Andre Sutherland. And he's wrapped up. Jerry Leggett. Again with another stop. Well, he had 18 takedowns last week, and unofficially we have him for 14 tonight. What a great job he does. He can play the pass, as we saw a couple plays ago. And here, Andre Sutherland, a back with great speed. Jerry Leggett catches him on the sideline when Sutherland tried to cut back. Leggett really showed his ability to just stop right with him. Sutherland originally attended Pittsburgh, then transferred to Butler, he left there, and has found his way onto the 49er campus. Second down and 12. 645 left in the game. Out of the way, it's Andre Sutherland again. To the outside, and he's just tripped up by the weak side backer, Chris Wright. Or that would have been a big game. Well, that time Sutherland put a good move on Jerry Leggett to get some positive yardage. And another big third down play. With that clock winding down, approaching six minutes left. Jeff Graham just hit a big one for a first down to his foot in Derek Washington. Third down on six. Graham. Wide open is Browning for a touchdown. Now there's a flag back at the line of scrimmage in an area where you would think it's holding. This is going to be an interesting call. The, the defense that Cal State Fullerton ran was a man-to-man -man defense. It is holding, though, David, and this one's going to come back. They have holding on the offense. Still three. Let's see how devastating that play becomes for the Long Beach State 49er. Well, plus the big loss of yardage here that moves them back and really makes it tougher to get back in field goal position. A great play. The Titans were in a man-to-man -man defense, but didn't blitz that time. There you see Larry Ricebig said, the big play, we just knocked him out, and there's a holding penalty, and they've got to come back again with third down and 16. Well, they were hit for a penalty the last time they scored. I recall Sutherland took it in. They were guilty there. Then he threw the touchdown to Brian West. Graham, pressure. Another flag is down. And this one's incomplete. It's a third and 16 peg all the way down to the five the mark said. Hey, that's it. I'm holding on the offense, decline, fourth down. Titans want the ball back. Well, again, we get back to the word execution, and on two consecutive plays in a crucial spot with under six minutes left, the 49ers are ticketed for the holding infraction. They've had two touchdowns called back tonight, so Larry Ricebig, I'm sure, is saying we don't want to look back and be haunted by those, those two, two penalties that cost us scores. Willie Lujan punting for his ninth time, and he's had a very attractive night. Michael Moore dances across the 15, and then he's greeted. Five minutes, 39 seconds left in this Big West game, and Long Beach leads 21-15. You're a football fan. You like action. So why are you looking at this Volkswagen Fox, you ask? Because you love free football tickets. And from October 17th until October 27th, while the Fox demo drive is on, your Southern California Volkswagen dealer has them. See a select UCLA or USC football game. Just ask for them at your local Volkswagen dealer while supplies last. And test drive the Fox while you're there. You'll see a surprisingly affordable German road car and a game on us. Ask your participating Southern California Volkswagen dealer for details. Must be 18 years or older and possess a valid driver's license. When Whipple Will's call, the bat's blue. The evening is nigh. Blue heaven. I hurry to my Smooth. Clean. Crisp. 
Labatt Blue. Turn to the right. Imported beer from Canada. We'll lead you to my Labatt Blue. Blue. Yeah. Heaven. Long Beach State clinging to a 21-15 advantage over Cal State Fullerton with 5.39 left at Veterans Stadium here in Long Beach, California. And the Titan mascot. And Dan Speltz has had a long night, only 33%. But he's not gotten the ball downfield, only 60 yards accumulated in the one interception earlier by Stacy Alexander. Start from their 17 yard line, and they need a touchdown to pull it out. Hit back to Tony Dill, who's a former quarterback looking to throw. Incomplete. That did not fool Stacy Alexander and the secondary. Dill, at one point, in fact, was a starting quarterback for the Titans, so they knew that was in Gene Murphy's repertoire. Pretty good throw by Tony Dill on the dead run and with a lot of pressure on him. Gene Murphy, he had that squirrel derby on special teams, but he's not real happy right now. We'll watch Speltz. Takes a pretty good shot there. But Tony Dill, this is supposed to be a drop back, has to roll out. Watch this throw on the run. Not too bad. Great penetration from Pepper Jenkins again that really forced Dill to throw it. A little quicker than he wanted to. Second and ten. For Palomero, that's a marvelous play in the secondary by Keith Jenkins, the left side cornerback. Keith Jenkins, the senior from Oakland, returning starter. His experience really paid a dividend there. This is a dangerous throw by Speltz. You see he puts a little air under it, and Keith Jenkins has a chance to almost pull this one down. With 527 left, this is really a time Speltz needs to come through. Jenkins, another one of those transfers. He originally attended for one season the University of Oregon. They're down in 10 now. For Dan Speltz, he's a hungry quarterback. Titans only one of nine on third down conversions. Short throw to Michael Moore in the flat. And Keith Washington able to take him down. And they're about two yards short of the first down. So it's fourth down for Cal State Fullerton with five minutes left in the game. And I don't see any punting unit coming on. They're going to go for it. This is interesting. I don't know that if they'll use the, the cadence and hope to draw the defense off, off size, but there's still four minutes and 47 seconds to go. It's fourth and two, and the fans here are on their feet. They're confused. Sheroy came on late. You can see Spelt is still out there, and you had both the units out there. And through all this, Sheroy is trying to tie a school record for an 11th punt on the night. <laughs> and Gene Murphy can't believe it. They had the fake punt on there. They snapped to the up back Michael Moore, but Dan Speltz was just walking off the field. There was some confusion. I don't know if Speltz was supposed to be in on that formation, in on the fake punt. But he was just kind of nonchalantly walking off, and then they, they snapped the ball. Well, if nothing else, as you look at Speltz, Sheroy is going to get a, his 11th punt and tie the record. You see him trying to hurry Sheroy in. He's saying, get out of there. I need to get on the field. But he was on too late. And the penalty. We don't know where they were in the 25-second clock there. If he was real late, and Spelts was just going to walk and try to call timeout. I think what happened here, too, David, is they have not marched the yardage off. I think they called timeout before the flag, and it remains fourth and two. The negative, though, is they used one of those timeouts, and they're down to two. Well, Sheroy is about to tie the all-time school record with 11 punts on the night. Tony Rimes of UNLV had 13 earlier this year. That's the high water mark in the conference. Terry Lindsay has the dubious honor. He did that against Cal Poly San Luis Obispo in 73, and Scott Bernoy did it against Hawaii in 81, and again against San Jose in 81. The 11th punt for Sheroy, and it's effective again. 
getting the Titan bounce to the 30 yard line. Where Jim Shiroi will get his name in the Titan press guide in the record book section. But that's small consolation if Cal State Fullerton should not come back with a victory. Well, it's going to be uh, up to the defense, and it's been up to the Titan defense all year long, and they're called upon again. They have to stop Jeff Graham and that 49er offense right here. And it's frustrating for the defense to keep having to go back when your offense isn't generating anything. The quick pitch to Andre Sutherland. Fumble. Cal State Ford gets the big break. The safety, Mike Schaffel, number 41, out of Whittier High School, has the recovery. That's the tough thing. Cal, uh, Cal State Long Beach has had two touchdowns called back. We'll watch Sutherland. We'll try to see where he, he coughs this ball up. There you can see the hit by number four, James Young and the, re the recovery by Matt Mike Schaffel. We'll watch Young come in and just put a helmet right on the ball. Good tackle right there by Young, and we'll watch Schaffel recover. That's the thing when you don't knock a team out and you've got those opportunities. Now the Titans are in great field position. James Young is down after that hit. The injured player, the defensive back James Young, being helped to his feet. And he appears to be okay. But now, the 49ers are in jeopardy of letting this one get away. After Schaffel's recovery of the fumble. Junior, who's honorable mention all Big West last year. Four minutes, 19 seconds left. And the Titans trying to steal one away from Long Beach State. He's to the 22-yard line. An 18-yard ramble by Michael Moore. All you want to do is stay close and at the end win it. We'll watch Michael Moore. Great strength. Watch him keep his eyes up. Does a good job of breaking tackles and spinning there. Breaks a tackle by number seven, R.J. Coors. Long Beach State was in the blitz there. Moore did a good job of breaking through that for the big game. First and 10 from the 22. Remember, they need a touchdown to get the lead. Plus the conversion. Moore again. This time he gets perhaps two. Daniel Duffy made the stop from his end position. But Spelts and the Titans now can be somewhat selective. They have three minutes and 35 seconds. They have a couple of timeouts remaining and certainly field position on their side. They need the touchdown, though. This has usually been an area in the field where the 49ers have blitzed. They blitzed on the big run by Michael Moore last time went vanilla. Again, we go into the middle of the line, and Titans will be looking at third down. Pepper Jenkins, number eight, in the middle of it again, stopping Michael Moore. Three minutes left in the game. Titans, two and one of the Big West. Long Beach State, 0 and two, looking for its first conference win and its first win overall. Third and six for Cal State Fullerton. Down to 2.45 left in the game. For Palomero, nearly intercepted by Keith Jenkins. And had he caught that, Jenkins was gone. That would have been an interception and a touchdown the other way. I'm sure that's all Keith Jenkins was thinking when he saw this ball coming out. The Titans are near the right hash. Rocky Palomara just standing there waiting to break up, but a great play by Jenkins. The Titans exhaust one timeout here. They're down to one. One precious timeout left. So that defense needing to hold one more play with 2.42 left in the game. It is fourth and six for the Titans. And the Long Beach State defense, which came in giving up 37 a night, has been very tough. 2.42 left. Titans trying to come back. Long Beach State leading by six.
The crowd is on its feet at Veterans Stadium. Better than 7,000 for homecoming. It's fourth down and six as you look at the timeouts remaining for Cal State Fullerton. The 49er faithful pleading their case with their defense. Touchdown, Cal State Fullerton. Rocky Palomero gets the touchdown and a good throw from Spelt. And that 21 indicates the point total for both teams. And now the extra point drive from Stan Lambert with 2.38 left, bidding to give the Titans the lead for the first time tonight. There's a flag down. That's what happens when they've, Long Beach State's had two touchdowns called back tonight. They had chances to put the Titans away. The Titans hung in there after the fumble by uh, Sutherland. They get a chance again. That time a big blitz by Long Beach State and Speltz throws a great, great pass there to Palomaro. Dan Speltz has had a very tough time of it tonight. But when he was faced with fourth and six in the stadium rocking, he's the one that throws the rocket to his wide receiver, Rocky Palomaro. Got it. No foul on the play. Reset. Well, the officiating crew got caught up in all the excitement. Larry Rice, big, satisfied. This team will have to go back and try to block the kick again. A 21-21 deadlock. Two teams that are searching for the winning method. Titans trying to go 3-1 in the Big West and trying to get the lead here. It's good. Cal State Fort leads 22-21. What an uphill battle for Cal State Fullerton tonight. But then for the moment, they've climbed the summit. Well, and their defense has never quit. They've played well. They've, they've contained Graham here in, this, in the second half. The, the two touchdowns called back. Here's the biggest play for Dan Speltz since he's moved to Cal, uh, Cal State Fullerton. Great throw to Rocky Palmera. Good coverage there by Keith Jenkins, but the throw is right there. You can see that Lambert is thoroughly enthralled with his effort there. And the Titans lead 22-21, and Dan Speltz, after a tough night, becomes a hero for the moment anyway. There's still time for Long Beach State. Dan's just telling upstairs, I, you know, I had him right where I wanted him the whole night, so he's got to feel great about that last throw. Cal, Cal State Long Beach blitzed that time. It was really the first, not, first time tonight that the Titans have picked up blitz up. Two minutes, 38 seconds left, and Cal State Fort, which has trailed throughout, leads 22-21. Lambert, who has three field goals this evening, now kicking off. Long Beach State, remember, has but one timeout left. Mark Say at his five-yard line. Has a lane. Mark Say. He's to the 45 yard line. A 40 yard return for Say. Mark Say does a great job. Again, he catches it on the right side of the field and brings it all the way across to the left. Good pursuit, breaks the tackle there of 45, Earl Williams. And there you see his speed up the sideline. 229 left in the game. Cal State Long Beach has got a great two-minute offense. They've got plenty of time, and they still have one timeout left. And they don't have to be concerned about scoring the touchdown. They have to get into field goal range for David Van Steenkist, who has a great leg and who's hit from 55 yards.
Graham. Across the field, wide open was Lafayette Shelton. Looked like he was stuck in glue for a moment. He gets six or seven yards. Lafayette was kind of skating there, but there you saw the arm strength of Jeff Graham. Plenty of time to clock down to 209. Good play and good composure by Graham. Though. The dramatic rally, five plays, 40 yards, 18 yards, Colts to Palomero. Far side for Washington, it's too tall. And it'll be third down and still four to negotiate for the 49ers. Randy, in a position like this, though, as a quarterback, you only have to think, I just need one completion out of these four downs to get the first down and, and keep the clock moving, keep the sticks moving, and get them in a field goal position. They still have one timeout left. They still have two plays during four down territory, so I think they have to move the chains down. He could run here and try to cross up the tight. A lot of options for Jeff Graham. He's going to keep it up top. Over the middle, that's his first down to Lafayette Shelton, the reliable source out of the backfield. They stopped the clock to move the chain. They still need about another 10 or 15 to get into David Van Steen kissed range. Lafayette Shelton's had a good, good night tonight. High percentage pass, they move the sticks, that'll stop the clock. No huddle. Clock begins again, a minute 40 left. 22-21 game. Brian Browning gets out of bounds at the 37-yard line. And Graham is showing you why he's such a composed quarterback. That's Cornelius Harrell, the big, strong tackle that's shaken up in that offensive front. But Graham is a real cool customer. Well, he's been a starter for four years. He's seen the situation before. The Titans have basically gone into a prevent defense, and we all know the prevent really has never really stopped anything. They're just dinking them underneath. Titans holding on. Rice Biggs, 49ers, and Graham 22-21 with a minute 36 left. Browning. To the outside. Oh, that's a terrific tackle in the open field. Mike Chappell. You don't do it any better than that when you're confronted one-on-one -on -one against one of those ball carriers with all those elusive moves. Now, Browning made it look, appear that he's going to try to cut back in. No huddle. Long Beach State up to the line. Rock is winding down. Headed toward a minute. 22-21. Titans clinging to a precarious one-point lead. Far sideline to Mark Shea. He has a first down with a minute and one second left. So the 49ers now are within the range of David Van Steenkiss with that one. Good throw on third down by Jeff Graham. Van Steenkiss between the range of 40 to 49 is two of three this year if he would try it from the spot right now. But the 49ers aren't done yet. There's a mix-up. And A.J. Jenkins is always there waiting for mishaps. Well, A.J. Jenkins, a great player, an impact player, a super tackle there. You see Jeff Graham looking over to the sideline. This might move them back out of field goal, field goal range right now. Down to 40 seconds. Now keep in mind that Van Steen kissed his hit from 55 yards. One timeout left for the 49ers. For Derek Washington, incomplete. It's third and long. Graham wants one more completion to take some of the pressure off of David Van Steen kissed. A dramatic confrontation. These two arch rivals have fought from the beginning of this one, from the outset. Long Beach led throughout. The Titans have come all the way back to get a Dan Stokes touchdown pass to Rocky Palomero. Now it's third and 13 with 31 seconds left. And it's the 49ers trying to pull it out. Say is open. He's out of bounds at the 10-yard line. This is a great throw by Jeff Graham. It's a zone defense. You can see number four, James Young, just 
let's say get behind him super throw good job of keeping his feet in bounds Long Beach State had to believe they had this game won in the second half the play by Dan Speltz to come back to Palomera great drive here by Jeff Graham they won't stay out at the 12 yard line 25 seconds left Trying to set it up as Shelton takes the handoff for David Van Steenkiff. Down to 10 seconds. Seven seconds, and they call the timeout. Larry Reisbig has his placement specialist on the field. Number 20, David Van Steenkiff. Has a long of 55 yards, which tied the school record of Jose Osegura and David Kaler. This one well within his range. It'll be at a, if they spot it that where it is now, it'll be a 32-yard try. What a good game. What a good drive here by Jeff Graham. A great throw to Mark Say to get them here in, in field goal range when it was third down and 13. Ben Steenkiss kickers right now do not like to sit around and wait. They had to call the timeout, but it's always tough for a kicker when he's just got to stand around. He knows what, what's riding on this kick. You know, the Titans have one more timeout left. Do you think they may use it here to freeze Van Steenkiss? Gene Murphy, you never know. that it, it wouldn't be a bad call. Make him stand out there and just think about it. It's a big kick. It'd be the first win they've had this year. A little bit of pressure on this one. Paul Oates, the backup quarterback, will hold Van Steenkiss with a 32-yarder. Larry almost seems to be enjoying this. The ball game hanging in the balance. Watch David Van Steen kiss a good job, follows through, stays down with it. We'll see his reaction here at the end. He knew the minute he hit it that he got gotten the field goal and won the game. Let's see what the coach thinks and feels right now. Yes. Trying to hold his team back. He's thinking there's still five seconds left. That's the coach's philosophy. Now he starts to celebrate. Trying to break that ugly nine-game losing streak dating back to last year, the last four and the first five of this season. 24-22, five seconds remaining. I don't think we'll see Long Beach State giving the Titans an opportunity for a return here. This should be a squib down the middle. Just something to get someone to touch the ball and get this game over with. The climactic scoring drive, 11 plays, 40 yards. Van Steen kissed with the placement from 32, but what a terrific effort engineering that drive. The man who choreographed it, you might, choreographed it, you might say, Jeff Graham. Well, Jeff Graham showed a lot of composure there. They had a lot of time. One timeout only, but there was 2 minutes and 28 seconds left on the clock. He, just, he got the job done. And so has David Van Steen kissed. The final five seconds. We'll see if he just grounds it. And it's taken by one of the up men. And they toss it back. And time has expired. Keith Curry, number 49, had no room to run. There is a flag down. They'll call a forward lateral. 
Illegal forward pass, he climbs, game's over. This one is history. The nine-game losing streak goes by the board. The 49ers embracing Larry Reisman. First win of 1988, 24-22. Winning in the final seven seconds on a 32-yard field goal by placement specialist David Van Steenkist. And a bitter pill to swallow for the Titans and Gene Murphy. They go to two and two in the conference, and they will be out of the cowboy picture. That's a stunned sideline as you look at Pete Curry in disbelief. And the happiness for Larry Rise Graduated by his quarterback coach, Randy Witsit. Let's take a look. Once again, at Van Steen Kiss winning 32-yarder. Super kick, great technique there. You can see the emotion. The 49ers, so many times they could put this Titan team away. They didn't. They had to wait till the end. Wonderful feeling to be in that position, to win a game for your team. And for Cal State Fullerton, this is as tough a loss as I'm sure Gene Murphy has felt in a long time. Bitterness for all these Titans. 53 is Matt Fitz, their all-conference offensive lineman. The John Bell, number 33, sitting aside. Dennis Ellis, one of the offensive linemen. The 49ers win it, 24 to 22. We'll be back for the post-game show after these messages. Comcast Cable, it's a movie buff stream with theme after theme on Cinemax. Vanguard Cinema is for serious film fanatics with gems from afar and a slight bizarre. Mainstream movie mavens can relive Hollywood's golden years with the Cinemax Classic Collection. And the director's chair showcases films from the world's finest creators. Also in October, Comcast features John Lennon in the Cinemax Vintage Performance Series. Comcast Cable keeps kids collabing with the Disney Channel. Captivating concerts, mystifying movies, and cartoon classics make up a magnificent mix of delightful Disney entertainment in October. The kids are in for a treat with Glenn Bennett and the Kaleidoscope Concert Series. Fun and fantasy in the return from Witch Mountain. And the brand new animated adventure, Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. On the battle of Waterloo across more than 300 years of British history come the regimental band, the pipes, the drums, and dancers of the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. Experience live the music that built an empire, the color, the pageantry, the proud call of the Scottish bagpipe. Don't miss the Royal Scots Dragoon Guards. Coming to Brinley Vince Center Wednesday, October 19th, and at the Fabulous Forum Friday, October 21st. A dramatic victory for Cal State Long Beach. The 49ers, after leading most of the night, only to fall behind in the waning moments, come back and win the game 24 to 22. You can see Bowman bitterly upset. Some of the Titans still out there. There's Ellis, the offensive lineman. They are really feeling this one. A bitter pill to swallow for Cal State Fullerton as Jeff Graham engineers a dramatic drive leading to a field goal of 32 yards by David Van Steen kissed in the waning seconds, seven seconds left. Dave, that was a terrific game. Unbelievable. Uh, Dan Speltz came back with the touchdown pass to Palmera. They thought they, they had the game won, and then Jeff Graham came back and engineered a drive of 228 left in the game, took his time, showed great composure, made a great throw to Mark Say, and got the field goal. No question about who our player of the game is. It's the number 12, 
the man who patrols the football team and the offense for Long Beach State, Jeff Graham. Jeff, this is Randy Rosenblum upstairs for Prime Ticket. Congratulations. I know it must feel great for you as a senior to break that long losing streak. Well, thank you. Uh, boy, this, we needed this one, that's for sure. Uh, I can sympathize with Fullerton right now. You know, we went through the same thing last week up in Utah. And uh, they played a tremendous game. And, uh, you know, you can't say enough about their team. Coach Murphy brought them back. I think uh, the character our team showed was unbelievable. You know, we came back with, uh, you know, we should have had the game won. We, had, we hit Brian Browning for a touchdown, and we got it called back. And we had another holding call, and a couple other things didn't go our way. We fumbled. And, uh, you know, in all rights, we had that game won, but then we kind of let it slip away. So the sh uh, character everybody showed to come back was unbelievable. Jeff, this is David Hum. What did you tell your team when you got in the huddle for that final drive? I just said we needed it. We need this one. You know, I said we could do it. You know, I looked at, you know, looking at the offensive line, they had the confidence, you know, looking into Derek Jinx's eyes and Corns and everybody's, they had the confidence. You know, you just got to, you have to instill that confidence in them. And the running backs knew they could do it. We just all knew we could do it. And we came back, hit Marseille down the sideline for a big play. You know, offensive line protected great on that one. Jeff, we're going to take a look at uh, one of your fine passes tonight. This is the one to Mark Say. Perhaps you can describe it for us. Well, I just went back, and it's a 59, and they had cover two on. And that guy came up trying to bump him uh, short there, and then the free safety stays on the hash. And then uh, so I had to get it in before the free safety came over in time. And Schaffel made a great play. He's a great player. Jeff, you had problems earlier in the year getting some consistency going. Did your game last week against Utah State help you coming in tonight? You could tell just a confidence factor looking at you from our vantage point that you had a lot of confidence out there. Yeah, it felt good tonight. You know, last week felt, you know, felt real good last week. I think, um, I think as a whole, everybody's playing better, and I attribute that to the offensive linemen, the running backs, and the wide receivers. I think, you know, I play, the better I play is because, you know, they play better, so I have to attribute it to them. Jeff, congratulations. I know you'll enjoy this victory. All right, I'd like to thank, uh, uh, again, I'd like to thank everybody that stuck behind us when things were getting tough and, uh, you know, the family and friends and everybody that stuck around and especially Prime Ticket for great coverage. All right, thank you, Jeff. Jeff Graham, our player of the game. Some terrific moments for Jeff tonight in a 24-22 victory for Long Beach State, their first victory of the 1988 season. Their first one, obviously, in the Big West as well. A heartbreaking setback for Cal State Fuller. We're going to come back and take a look at some of the stats behind the story as Long Beach holds off Fuller 24 to 22. Blue. Labatt's blue. Evening is nice. Blue heaven. I hurry to mind. Smooth. Clean. Crisp. Labatt's blue. Oh, turn to the right. Imported beer from Canada. We'll lead you to mine. Labatt's blue. blue. Yeah. Heaven. We used to sell a Volkswagen for people with more sense than money. We still do. Before you buy a car, test drive a Volkswagen Fox at your local Volkswagen dealer. The Long Beach State 49ers are still celebrating a dramatic 24-22 victory tonight over the Cal State Fullerton Titans. Statistically, as we look at this one, the passing game, the big story for Long Beach State. Well, it was the domination by the 49ers in, in every category. Uh, total yards, 342 to 203, but they never put them away. They had the two touchdowns called back. Dan Speltz had that opportunity on the fumble by Sutherland to come back and get the touchdown to Palmara. It's never over till it's over, but the 49ers showed a lot of poise coming back. Now, David and myself, we made predictions prior to the game, and we're going to see how smart we are. I picked Cal State Fullerton 27-20. About the right a number of points, I had the wrong team winning. Remember, Long Beach won at 24-22. Well, and I also, I had Cal State Fullerton 31-20 over Cal, uh, Long Beach State. I, was, I didn't know, and I was real surprised by the fact that Long Beach State's defense just played super. You know, a lot of people said 
this game would be that great. These teams aren't all that good. I'll tell you, they were pretty good tonight, and you can't ask for better, more exciting football than what we saw this evening. Oh, I don't think you can. You look at the, the position that Long Beach State was in. They came in winless. They needed a win. It was homecoming, and everything seemed to work out for them at the very end. And Long Beach State gets the victory, winning 24-22 to here at Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, California. A big victory for Larry Rice Big. And it's a big weekend of college football ahead in 88, still to come on Prime Ticket. Tomorrow night, you'll see the WAC Conference matchup featuring the Hawaii Rainbows and the San Diego State Aztecs beginning at 5 o'clock. Followed by the Pac-10 clash between USC and Washington. That's tomorrow night here on Prime Ticket, sports television at its very best. Now, stay tuned for the UCLA Bruins as they meet California up in Berkeley. Mike Walden and Jack Snow are standing by for that one. For David Hum, I'm Randy Rosenblum saying good night from Veterans Stadium in Long Beach, California.